Her debut single put her on the map and let the opposite sex know that she was tired of dealing with their BS. She would also get tired of dealing with BS in the music industry that led to long absences from the spotlight. At one point, she got so frustrated and depressed that she thought she would never create music again. Let's find out what happened to R&B singer Sunshine Anderson. Sunshine Jocelyn Cyan Anderson was born June 7, 1974 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Her family later moved to Charlotte. One day, she was singing while standing in the cafeteria line at North Carolina Central University where she was studying criminal justice. Someone was listening that would play a very important role in getting her on the professional track. He just happened to be friends with singer, songwriter, and record producer Mike City, who is also an alum of the school, and decided to introduce them to one another. American R&B soul singer-songwriter Macy Gray would enter the picture after hearing Sunshine's music. She liked what she heard so much, she decided to take over the role of manager during the recording of Sunshine's first album. By 1999, Sunshine would sign with LA-based R&B hip-hop label Soul Life, distributed under Atlantic Records. Her debut single and smash hit, Heard It All Before, would drop two years later. It peaked at number 18 on the Hot 100 and shot all the way to number 3 on the R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. Two months later, her debut album titled Your Woman debuted at the number 8 position on Billboard's 200 chart and was certified gold later that year. Unfortunately, the follow-up single called Lunch or Dinner didn't do anywhere near as well. Sunshine and Macy Gray would ultimately part ways. Sunshine said that she doesn't know where the rumors that have circulated over the years about Macy ruining her career came from. She's always said she will forever be indebted to Macy for all that she did for her. After their partnership ended, her record label went through a merge. As a result, she found herself pushed aside, so she asked to be released from her contract. The next period of her life would be an extremely trying one full of depression and debauchery. But um, yeah, it was a very bad period. I hung black sheets up on the windows. You know, I can honestly remember, you know, not taking a bath for a couple of days and just only opening the door for the Domino Pizza Man. I ain't never did no cocaine and I ain't definitely shot nothing in my arms, okay? But I've had my fun. I, I got to a point where I was just tired of being high. Like, it's got to be something better than this. I remember telling my mom that I need some help and I'm going to either hurt myself or I'm going to hurt somebody. Eventually, she created her own label called Shining Star Inc. and also signed on with Matthew Knowles' Music World Entertainment in 2004. Her first single called Something I Want to Give You was released in December 2006. Her second album, titled Sunshine at Midnight, dropped at the top of the year. A couple of follow-up singles were released later on, but like the first, they barely made a dent on the charts. According to Sunshine, the cause was due to lack of promotion. It was very hard for her to accept that the album tanked, since she figured she'd have guaranteed success aligning herself with Beyonce's daddy. Sunshine was able to deal with the disappointment a little easier since she had something else cooking in the oven at the time. She was about to become a mom. That same year, she would also marry her longtime boyfriend, Kansas City Chiefs tackle, Christopher Terry. Another major bright spot during her downtime was the completion of her cosmetology training. Yes, Sunshine Anderson can sing and lay some hair. She initially enrolled in hair school before work on her second album began. She put everything on hold to complete that project and then went back when the time was right. She went on to become a stylist at one of the hottest salons in Atlanta. She's well aware that the haters would have something to say, but she never feels the need to explain anything to anyone. She grew up with the notion of the importance of having, quote, a few irons in the stove. 
So she figures people can say whatever they want about her, but one thing they can never say is that she's broke. It wouldn't be until September 2010 before word of more music was announced. Sunshine let her fans know that her new single called Lie to Kick It had been released to radio. Two months later, her third studio album titled The Sun Shines Again with her new label, Ver Forecast, was released. In a 2010 interview with YouKnowIGotSoul.com, Sunshine spoke about the inspiration behind the album title. The last album was Sunshine at Midnight. I was kinda in a dark place or in a situation where I kinda wanted to let people know that you could shine even in the darkest of night. But now, with the sun shines again, I'm back. I am woman, hear me roar. Also in that interview, she went in depth about her biggest challenge, the urban adult contemporary versus urban mainstream dynamic. She expressed how frustrated she gets not hearing her music on the radio. I ain't mad at adult contemporary, but to me, and I might not supposed to say this, but to me, if your record ain't played on mainstream radio, the masses don't know it's out. So, because they don't know it's out, then you work 20 times as hard. In between her second and third album, she also experienced the breakdown of her marriage. Surprisingly, in a May 2021 interview with Highly Dish Functional, she revealed that she's actually still married, even though they've been separated for 13 years of their 14-year union. She's been a true single parent for all this time as well, since Christmas 2020 was the first time her ex even met their daughter. Three years later, you know I got soul.com caught up with Sunshine again to find out what she was up to. She mentioned that she was working on some music and confessed that she was actually trying to decide whether or not she wanted to get back into the cutthroat industry. She also spent a year and a half as a radio personality on her hometown station, Power 98 in Charlotte. Her segment called Sunshine Situations was taken over to her friend's blog talk radio show called Real Girls Rock. In October 2019, Sunshine's first single in nearly a decade was released called Level Up. As of the making of this video, there hasn't been any word on whether this will lead to a full album. The worldwide pandemic in 2020 hit Sunshine hard. She spoke about it to Kelly V from Orlando R&B hip hop radio station The Beat 104.5 in February 2021. She went from performing nearly every weekend to just a handful of shows for the entire year. However, she picked herself up, dusted herself off, and carried on. Music isn't the only thing that Sunshine Anderson has had in the works. She can now add the title of author to her resume. Her book, titled One Hit Wonder, Seven Steps to Reinvent Yourself, launched on May 17th, 2021. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.